supposed to pick him up today. I guess Mr. Lovett beat you to it. Or is it Lieutenant Lovett? Who cares? Wait, why would you be asking about Brody's rank? Well, because he was in his uniform when he came to pick up your son. Shane's classmates were so impressed. Maybe I should call mom. Let me go through this. Not yet. But mom was gonna pick me up today. She made a really big deal about it. She'll figure out you're with me. She'll be fine. I'm gonna surprise her, remember? I know, but... And then once we change your name, nobody, uh, nobody will ever be able to question who your dad really is. I want to get this done. Let's go. Look. What? Did you lose a medal? Oh, yeah. I guess it fell off. I got dressed in kind of a hurry. let Shane leave with Brody before school got out? Well, yes. I didn't want him to be late for his dentist appointment. What dentist appointment? There was no appointment. Wait, when was Brody here? He came for Shane about a half hour before the bell rang. Why'd you lose the medal? Uh, not sure. It's no big deal. I can, I can always order a new one. Is that why you didn't want to go through the security line? What? Your medals. They were to set off the metal detector, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh! Are you right? Did something happen? No, everything's wonderful. Okay, why did you fix it so that I could leave school early and meet you here? I told Star I'd stick by her all day. Oh, your loyalty to Star is really commendable, but this takes precedence. What does? Your adoption. You mean... We're here because you want to adopt me now? Today? Now? Today? You're going to be a Kramer. <laughs> Jared, Jared, Aunt Tina knows. Come on, you've got to make her talk. I know you can. I know you can. You're counting on her to get you out of this? Dream on, Natalie. No, I heard you. You were apologizing to someone who isn't here. Um, yeah. Um, and, um... You know, if you talk about it, it might make you feel better. You know, you're right. I do want to talk about it. You need to know what I've done. We know what we're doing. Oh, I think I know what this is about. It's about in college when we had sex. I did something terrible. What are you talking about? I got greedy. Okay, I just didn't want to leave Mandora with nothing. What are you holding over Tina? Hurry, you've got to get Tina to talk. Come on, you've got to get her I to talk before Tess gets up there. Tina, please danger. say I put something. other people in danger, too. Okay, is this about Christian? Are you blaming yourself for Christian's disappearance? No. No, this is not about Christian. Well, then who is... Oh, my gosh, Tina. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot to tell you something. What is it? Well, um, uh, Sarah left a message this morning, and she sounded really, um... Upset. Uh, she uh, she hasn't heard any news about Christian, and uh, she wants you to go keep her company. Whoa, you okay? Hmm. Everything is sweet. Boy, did I have a good day. Well, I thought you were awesome in assembly. I was out of control. 
I, I mean, I want to thank you and Cole for sticking up for us. No sweat. Well, I never really liked assemblies, but what really sucked was being the whole school's sex education, visual, and audio aid. Yeah, I just realized something today. Guys get off easy. But you know what? I don't think after the way you handled things today, you'll ever get hassled again. <laughs> I'm sure I won't. No one's gonna go wanna go near a hormonal pregnant girl. She's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like how you get funny when you get mad. I guess it's just a natural gift. But you're not just mad, are you? No. Marco Rivera, you're very perceptive. This is not the junior year that I was hoping for. Well, have you ever thought of, you know, dropping out for a while just until... Until what? Until I drop the kid and I look like everyone else again? No. The whole point to me giving this baby to Marcy is because it's the best thing for the baby and because I don't want my life to take a huge left turn because of this. I'm just really trying to keep going. Which isn't easy. You know, not really. Because of this whole situation, I've really learned who my true friends are. You know, Langston trying to get in front of me to cover the fact that I'm pregnant. Where is Langston anyway? I don't know. You know, I haven't seen her since assembly. I wonder where she went. Langston, I thought you wanted this as much as I do. It's just so sudden. Yes, that's because I moved heaven and earth to get it to happen today. I, I thought you'd be thrilled. I am, but... But what? I'm just channeling the day you rushed me to the doctor when I pretended to be pregnant. It was like, hurry, no questions. Let's just get there and get it done. This is nothing like that. To you, maybe. I'm just in a hurry to officially adopt you be, be, because you mean so much to me. Do you like the necklace that my uncle gave me? It's lovely. My mother's quinceanera gift. So he said. <sighs> That's why you wanted to finalize the adoption today, isn't it? because my uncle Ray showed up. Check Shane's records. There's nothing that says he can't leave school with Lieutenant Lovett. But I was supposed to pick him up today. Didn't he say that? Well, if you just calm down. Calm down! This is my kid we're talking about. Shane seemed perfectly happy to leave with him. Uh, aren't, don't you, you guys live together? What the hell has that got to do with anything? What is the problem here? For heaven's sake, Lieutenant Lovett is the boy's father. No, no he's, he's not. not. Yeah, the metal detector always goes atomic when I wear my uniform. Something's up with you, man. Keep it up. Can I just call mom? I won't tell her where we are, I swear. I'll just tell her I'm okay. I said no, Shane. Can't you trust your dad enough to listen to him? Yeah, sure, sorry. Did you get that? All the kids have them. Yeah, sure. Pretty cool, huh? Have the guards just go and look at you and then just wave this in. Yeah, the uniform can be a big plus sometimes. Kind of makes people look at you in a different way. All the kids in my class were totally impressed. Yeah, think how great it'll be when you can go to school and tell everybody your name is Shane Lovett. Yeah. Dad? Yeah? I'm just not sure of this. Mom doesn't want me to change my name. And if she doesn't want it, 